Next year will be the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Football Association of Ireland, if they can survive that long. The FAI has been in turmoil since revelations about a loan given to it by its then chief executive, John Delaney. The parent body of football in this country has lurched from crisis to crisis since last March. Along with the launch of a number of investigations, a governance review was undertaken, which had the independence of directors as a key reform. Last night, the board of the FAI ratified the appointment of Roy Barrett as independent chairperson of the association. Mr Barrett is the managing director of Good Body Stockbrokers. The FAI also announced the appointment of two independent board directors, Catherine Guy and Liz Joyce. We know the old guard is gone uh, and that this, this hopefully will be a new chapter and we'll see the implementation of the reforms recommended by Cozy and others as soon as possible. But uh, it's, it's, it's a good day. It, we have a long way to go, but it's certainly, a, I hope, a turning point. These are very high caliber people indeed. State funding to the FAI remains suspended, but they have asked for financial support. We're not going to do it today. I'm meeting, I'm meeting today with, with uh, Roy Barrett and, with, and uh, my Minister of State, Brendan Griffin. Uh, we, wouldn't, we were not going to be going along with the cheque or anything like that, but we, we are going along in a new atmosphere and we will look to restore government funding when the reforms are implemented. The minister will meet with UEFA in Dublin next Tuesday in a bid to solve the financial crisis. A fourth independent director is also to be appointed in the coming weeks. Tony O'Donoghue, RTE News.